always roll it a couple of ways to so yeah. it compresses the clay particles. You can't if I just do it one way, then there's a good possibility that it will crack later on. Where do you get your clay from, Kerry? I have to buy it in from Melbourne, um, so I generally buy it by the ton, whereas this is different clay to what I usually use, so I just bought in enough to do the project, and then I've had to buy some more because I had to do some other things, so getting rid of the impression of the... had them all set up with another table and all that but I haven't got that done anymore so it's a little bit out of whack with the process. Almost looks like baking a cake. I know exactly it's just exactly like using flour so that it doesn't stick. So these are the impressions? Yeah so um, they just gave me a big long strip and I just got Andrew to cut them down because I thought I could do it in a long strip and then I found it was going to be wasting too much in between because yep. I couldn't get the whole the whole thing, so I cut it, we cut it into individual ones. So then Make sure it lines up all square. And there they are. There they are. And just carefully pick them up. That's why I could only do two at a time because I was picking them up. And yeah. Fantastic. It's a really beautiful but quite simple image, isn't it? Yes, yeah. It's oh, it, it just looks so great when it's yeah. When it's finished. But often the best things that, you know, the best things are those that are quite simple and straightforward. Mm. Yeah. But it, le it leaves just a, a, a great impression. I can see why, yeah. Yeah, and then it's just a matter of, so letting them um, dry, firm up quite a bit, and then I plane the edges, neaten it all up, give it a sponge, and it's ready for the first firing. Yeah. And ha are they fired, they're fired more than once? Yeah, so they're fired in a bisque firing to 1,000 degrees. And then I bring them out and spray the glaze on them and then they're fired again in a glaze to 1300. Yeah.